You know, some of you might be wondering... Why do you have a bag on your head? And that is an excellent fucking question. Okay. I don't know if I can get this off. I didn't tie it that tight, jeez. Okay, so I went to Walmart to get some food, as one does, and I had to wait in line. You can actually, you can see the line right there. So I waited in line, and when I got up to the door, you know, they're, they're letting only a certain number of people in at a time. Makes sense, perfectly understandable. Uh, but then I get up there, and the guy said, I thought he was asking if I wanted a mask, and I said, oh, no, thank you. And he said, oh, no, you need a mask to go in the store. I said, why? <laughs> why would that be the case? I understand, but... Mm, 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 I don't want to say it. I don't... Look, okay. I'm going to be real. Masks decrease the chances. I got to turn on the freaking air conditioning. <laughs> it's hot. Masks decrease the chances that you will be exposed to viral molecules. So it's better to err on the safe side and wear a mask. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I mean, early on they were talking about shortages, which was the main reason why I didn't buy a medical mask. And I already have like a construction mask anyway and a bandana, so I could use that if I wanted. But the idea that you should need to have a mask, I mean, in a grocery store, it's like, again, it's like, whatever, you know, better to err on the safe side, better safe than sorry, I suppose. But there are no signs. There are no signs that say that that's the case. Where would I have seen that? Was it on the news? I don't know. I don't have regular television. I didn't see that anywhere. So how the fuck would I have known that? So anyway, guy said that I needed a mask to go in the store. And I'm sitting there thinking like, okay, the first thing I thought of was I, I grabbed my shirt and I put it up over my nose and my mouth. And I said, will this work? And he said, no, because it has to stay there the whole time. So I'm like, shit, man, I, I don't, I'm at the front of the line. It's a long ass line. I don't want to, I don't have to go back to my car and try to come up with something. So I just took one of the plastic bags I have, one of the reusable plastic bags that they sell at Walmart. Cause I've been using like the same seven plastic bags for three years straight. But I just took one, I tore it up and I wrapped it around my face and I tied it tightly to my face and wore it around the store the whole time before I went. And I said, is this sufficient? And the, like there were other people there and they're like, yeah, if, if you want to do that, like, well, it doesn't seem like I have a choice. So that, uh, that is the answer to the question of why the fuck I have a plastic bag over my face. And you know what? I don't care if I rip it, so. Ah, eh. Oh my God, here. Yeah, that's way easier. Oh, that's why. Shit, let's take over my hair. I tied it to my hair. So anyway, um, yeah. I'm all in favor of, uh, I'm all in favor of taking precautions, but this seems a little ridiculous in case you couldn't already tell. Anyway, um, you know, all the usual, try to stay home as much as you can, stay safe, just, just be sensible, you know? Like, just be sensible. It's okay if you go for a walk nearby, get some sunlight, get some fresh air. Just don't go rubbing on public surfaces. You know, if you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. It's perfectly fine. If you want to wear gloves, which is probably more, that's probably more effective, do that. Uh, you know, just, like I said, just be sensible. And try not to let this excessive shit get to you too much. I mean, at the end of the day, I was still able to go in and get groceries. And it was my ingenuity that saved me, as usual. Uh, anyway, whatever. Just go watch a video that makes you laugh. Go enjoy something, you know, to just to help you get through. Um, that's easy for me to say because I'm not currently experiencing uh, significant financial strife. I mean, I'm technically poor, but, you know. I'm, I'm doing fine. There are people doing far worse than me, but if you can afford it, go, go watch a funny movie or a funny video or listen to some music or something, you know? Just do something to make yourself happy. It's not just an idea like, you know, oh, you know, <laughs> it'll make you happy. Like, no, it'll actually improve your psychological state, which will 
make you healthier. It'll make you more able to fight any kind of infection. That's just good advice for day-to-day -day life, not just for this pandemic, but for any day out of your life for the rest of your life. Anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. Um, I just, you know, I just thought this was noteworthy. Anyway, <laughs> I'm Dracona, and try to have a nice day. <laughs>